We will turn your guilt trips into good trips. Book flights from 499 Rand only on travelstar.co.za. So have you ever sat in front of a travel agent or been on the phone uh, with um, maybe an airline speaking a seemingly new yet slightly familiar language? Um, <laughs> they were obviously conversing perfectly in English just a moment ago and then suddenly um, you are now talking another language entirely. Every industry has its own very particular jargon and the travel industry is no different. Travel Starts' Eric Dedekind now joins us to help us make sense of it all. Um, this is one industry that does have some particular phrases, some words that you might want to know. So we're going to help you out, have a little bit of fun with Eric this morning. Eric, um, thank you so much for, for joining us. Um, very particular industry jargon. Um, every industry has it. Um, is it the travel industry particularly difficult? Are there some things from someone from the inside? Did you have to learn the language when you came to terms with your own industry? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite a complicated um, industry in terms of, um, you know, not only language, but the actual way we structure tickets. Um, it's not like it was many years ago where you could just pop into an agency and say, uh, if there's a seat on a plane, I'll take it and it's a set price. So, you know, there's a lot of different words that we use and our clients often get confused when you try and explain it to them in that way. So no, man, it's an SSTD, come... man. Come on. No, in. exactly. So, yeah, we thought we'd come and explain and make it a little bit easier for you to understand. Um, I absolutely love that. So um, maybe there, there are a couple of standout ones, things that we should all know to, to be a little bit more travel savvy, at least to, to sound travel savvy. What are some of the ones that, that stand out? Um, well, you know, first, I think it's quite important to understand how a ticket is built or, or, um, or made up. And um, you'll, we use a, a term quite regularly called um, booking class. And that's not the same as a cabin class, such as economy or business or first <laughs> class. A booking class is basically another word for a fair tier. And each cabin has, let's say, for um, economy, for example, has about 10 different booking classes, all at different yeah. prices. So an airline releases inventory about 300 days in advance, and they will then say there are 10 different booking classes or fair tiers in economy class. The earlier you book, the cheaper your fare will be. And that's why you'll often find um, a flight, if you're booking a flight to London, say, tomorrow, it will be a lot more expensive than if you had booked booked the flight six or seven months ago. And that's because the lowest booking classes or fair tiers or fair categories are already sold out, even though the seat is exactly the it's same. It's exactly the, the same. Why am I paying twice the exactly. price, man? Yeah. It's a different class. It's a different booking class. I love that. Um, acronyms, I think, are, are often where we, we, we fall short when it comes to very particular um, jargon. But maybe three of the top terms that we should be brushing up on why. Well, I would definitely say uh, booking class, uh, base fare and taxes is very important. A ticket is made up of the actual base fare, which is just the, the, uh, the airline's fare, and then the taxes, which are not really taxes, we just call them taxes, but they're a whole list of charges which are added onto that uh, ticket price, which could be a security tax, um, landing fees, uh, uh, fuel surcharges, a whole lot of that. And then availability is a term we use a lot of, and um, especially when it comes to like changing the date of your ticket. Um, you know, if you, if you have now taken yourself off this flight today and you need to only travel in three weeks time because your meeting's been rescheduled or whatever the case may be, um, you know, and you are booking onto a flight in the future that is a lot fuller, again, your booking class might not be available at that fare, so we'd have to put you on a higher booking class and charge you for that difference in fare. And that's when we say availability is always a very, very important thing that we'll, you'll hear us speaking about a lot, is your fare is not available on this flight, and this that's is why it is costing. Matching your booking class to exactly, your original. Exactly. Okay, cool. Um, well, all of this being said, um, w where should we be booking to go to <laughs> at the moment? You guys always run some, some very particular, based on availability, Availability, obviously. Um, where should we be booking, do you think, at the moment on travelstart.co.za? We've got some pretty cool regional deals um, at the moment to uh, Zimbabwe, um, Botswana, Mauritius, um, Namibia. And, uh, you know, the airline has given us li limited inventory and uh, booking classes. Thank you. So availability <laughs> is limited and quite low. So book 
again, as early as you possibly can to get that lowest booking class and the cheapest possible fare. Get on it right now. Go and Absolutely. see Vic Falls, maybe, man. I love the sound of that. <clears throat> and, and you guys obviously have a myriad of other opportunities, I'm going to call it, to get the best possible booking class um, based on our availability. See, I'm uh, getting it all ready. Um, Eric, thank you so much, man, for coming sure. to, to demystify, if you will, some of those terms, some of the industry jargon. Most important thing that you need to be thinking about right now before you chat to a travel agent is get on travelstart.co.za and look for that ideal trip it's waiting for you we will turn your guilt trips into good trips book flights from 499 rand only on travelstart.co.za